visiting for vacation about 14, 15 years ago, and um, someone reached out to us through email and said, hey, if you're gonna be in town, we have a jiu-jitsu club, met Gregory. He was just such a nice guy, like right away, we linked up, been really good friends ever since. And uh, he's grown under our, our banner, which is a worldwide banner for jiu-jitsu schools all around the world. at like 40, 50 schools around the world. Gregor got his black belt today, and uh, he's more than deserving of it. He's, he deserved it a long time ago, but he's a very good example of how we want our team members to be, how to act, so he's character, and he's tough. Great character, and he's definitely tough. It's great, these kids are tough, right? But like I said, what's amazing, tough, really, really good, very deserving of their belts, but at the same time, great character, and all nice people. So that's what I like to see. That's My team is called Team Balance, only half of it is jujitsu and fighting, the other half is character. I meet people from all around the world, which was one way, or the way, that I met Gregory Milliard. I met him, my brother, my cousin, myself, traveled here about 13 years ago, 12 to 13 years ago, and we came for vacation. We were coming just to hang out, and we went on the beach, my brother, had an, the, one of the first internet shows, the uh, Jiu-Jitsu Jiu -Jitsu Matrix, that all we did was give back to people by showing self-defense moves or anything that we could show through Jiu-Jitsu. So we did a move on the island. We did a move, I think it was on Eagle Beach. And when we did that move, my brother sent it out to everybody. He had over 100,000 viewers. We didn't know all that. We just knew we had people in Japan, America, all around the world watching. So we sent it out thought nothing of it. By the time we came back to the place that we were staying here, we got messages from Gregory, from James, from a bunch of people saying, asking us if we were still on the island. And we had no idea who these people were. So we answered them back, and I think we were eating at the time, and we got a number, we started conversing, and they wanted to, to do a seminar. So we were like, sure, all we like to do is give back. So that's how we met them. We went to, I think it was in San Nicolas, the, the first the first academy was in San Nicolas, or we'll say it was just like a, a training facility for them. We went there, and I actually have the first picture we took, the group picture. I have it on my phone now. And I remember when I walked in, everybody was so polite. Everybody was wanting to learn. You had kids in there. There was one guy in particular, I forget his name. I have a picture of him. He was so talented just rolling with them. And these guys, they didn't know anything other than what they saw on the internet. So if these guys were getting good by just doing that, imagine if they had, you know, a, a, a solid foundation here. So we talked to them and, you know, we got to liking them and we've started a program down here. Gregory's been with us ever since. And the one thing I like about Gregory, and I told him this, is after that seminar, we separated ways, we finished our vacation the last day, I think it was the, the next day, we went to the beach. We were out there for like three hours. They had no phone to get in contact with us. Gregory and his son showed up at our place and sat there for at least three hours to give us gifts to say thank you. Now to me, a guy like that is the kind of guy I want on my team. And it's the kind of it's the reason why I started jujitsu. I love to give back. I like to work with kids. He's a good hearted. He became my brother since that. He became as soon as as soon as I saw that quality in him, I was like, I know this guy is good people, and that's what I like to train good people. So the rest is history. Thirteen years later, of him coming back and forth to Philadelphia, and, we, and us coming back and forth here, he worked his butt off. And look, we don't just give away black belts. You gotta earn it. So Gregory. I don't know if he mentioned this, it was in September a couple months ago, he had to come to Philly and test with us. He had to do a test. He had to do a self-defense test. He's got to know the self-defense rules and everything to teach the people on him. He did them, he passed, and we told him we're going to come up, present him with his black belt, and it's an honor to, to have him here because I see what he's doing here on the island. I see he's helping kids. You know, I take him out, I talk to him, I pick, you know, I pick his brain. I feel like he's got true love for the people on this island. This to me is my second home. So I wear the uh, Ruba flag in my heart, right? Even when I'm in the Philadelphia in the US. So I love this place. So, you know, he's, I'm connecting him. He's my brother here. I'm pretty sure we're related too. <laughs>
I met Gregory. We came to Aruba on vacation. I believe it was a 2005, maybe 2006. And uh, my cousin Phil McLaurice is also my jiu-jitsu instructor. He uh, he put a video up online, and somebody Gregory was friends with from another jiu-jitsu gym, jiu -jitsu gym, which wasn't popular in Aruba at the time. Uh, he contacted Phil. I think it was online, social media, and we we like went down there. We did a seminar. And I met Gregory. When I first met Gregory, I was like, man, this guy is big. He's strong. When he trains, he doesn't get tired. But one thing that stood out about Gregory, that he was he was a people's person. He was very nice to me. He made me feel welcomed. Um, he was just a great guy, you know, and I was happy to like that he accepted my friendship because he was such a nice person. Well, I'll tell you, when I first came to Aruba, back in I think it was 2005 or 2006, the level of jiu-jitsu wasn't very good. Guys were just like they were on the mat wrestling with no technique. They were just going like just wild and they had no idea what they're doing. So when I came today and I saw this beautiful gym and this beautiful environment that Gregory created and I watched the guys train, they're training slower, a lot more technique, their breathing is correct. They're like, they're using so much more technique. I'm like, I'm incredibly amazed by what Gregory did here. And he has a lot to be proud of and Aruba should be proud to have him here and all the hard work that he put into this.